Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Catherine Power, founder of Merit. And I am joined today by one of my best friends, Nicole Ritchie. Here I am. Good morning. Good morning, KP. I'm glad you're fresh faced like me. No makeup. No makeup, right? Yes, because we're going to go through the whole merit line and I'm going to show you how I do my makeup in five minutes and how you can too. Right. I have uh, all my stuff right here. First of all, how are you? Um, this morning or just like in life? Both. I mean, actually, both answers are I'm doing okay. Thank you so much for asking. How are you, KP? You know, doing di do very well. Very well, all things considered. So, yeah. you know, just pretty used to this lifestyle. I think last time we spoke, we were, you know, probably just six months into it. We were talking about fashion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the real, the real important things. The real important things. So now we're here to talk about beauty. <laughs> yes. Which is very important. And by the way, let me tell you something. Sophia Rossi is one of our mutual best friends and I yes. talk every single day. We say, oh my God, I love Merit. And actually, obviously you created it and I have nothing to do with it, but like, for example, like your brow brush, I used to take, before I had this brow brush, I used to take the eyebrow brush, so like the same yes. one, and put it in um, brown eyeshadow. And because I wanted that, like, that stroke. So yeah. like, you took all of the things that I've been doing the hard way and said, I wish this were easier for me. And then you created it. Well, I'm so glad to hear you say that because that's exactly what I did. I mean, I used to kind of hack together my makeup routine. And so yeah, just... I would use different things like, you know, that eyebrow technique or a concealer that I would try to change the consistency of to, to do like spot coverage. And, you know, ultimately, you know, I've been working on Merit for over four years. And I think it took so long because... I was truly so hands-on with the development of the actual products because each one was to meet a need that I had personally, you know, yeah. you, you know, my style. I mean, I've always really had a pretty natural makeup look and I just like to look like myself, but better. And, you know, I think we all want to look like we're not wearing any makeup, but the reality is we do need some coverage and, you know, we just want to look polished, right? Yeah, totally. And I think like, like, I love having my makeup done when it's done, but the second I get home, I have to wash it off because I really don't like feeling like I've got a lot of stuff on my face. Yeah, so, like it's damaging the skin. Yeah, so what I'm, I'm very into these because it's just, for, it's just for the little areas. It's just for like the little red areas, just the areas that you need to brighten up or cover. And then like your whole face doesn't feel like, oh my God, I have all this makeup on me. Yes. Great. Well, I'm so glad you're, you're loving it. So I'll take you through how I do my makeup in five minutes and maybe you can Great. do it along with me. Um, I'd love to. And that'd be really fun. So we'll start with the minimalist. What color okay. do you have? I'm um, wearing okra. I have, wait, I, okay. I have camel, khaki, and suede. Okay. I'm definitely not suede. I believe I'm khaki. Okay. Let me see. I Some do this people for, are buying two eyes. colors too. Yeah. So you can mix them. You if can put, you know. One spot that I have to cover every day because mm -hmm. I don't have dark circles. Okay. I am camel. I'm camel. Perfect. So starting with a really hydrated face, that's kind of the key. You yeah. know, you, you take the minimalist and the idea is to just put coverage where you need it and not where you don't. So I have redness around you know, my here. nose. I've got discoloration under here. Oh, do I? Not that I can see, but I have a little okay. red dot here. I've got to do the under eyes. Red, okay. But the idea is to leave, you know, where your skin looks really good, you want to try to leave, leave that bare. So yeah. you want to leave as much of your natural skin texture showing as possible. And the, the minimalist is kind of this perfect, not too creamy, not too matte. Um, it's light to medium coverage, but it's really buildable. So this is good for me for every day. But 
if I'm going on camera or I have a photo shoot, I can, I can build it up and actually get full coverage out of it. So it's really not heavy at all. Yes. And I wanted it to be really comfortable too. Um, and in the minimalist actually has C daftyl extract, which if you use it over time, it actually helps with pigmentation. Mm -hmm. Um, so all of the products actually have skin benefits in them. Um, but I just take our brush number one, which is super soft. And I just Very blend soft. in nice horny massage on the face. <laughs> I just sort of blend it in and you can see that you can't really tell where the skin ends and the makeup begins. And that's the whole idea. Oh. Yep. So I just blend that in. And you know, the complexion is very soft. Yeah, you still look like you're not wearing any makeup and you have your, your skin's natural glow. You have such beautiful skin that has this really healthy, hydrated glow you always have. Yeah, and you don't need to hide your, your whole, like all of your skin. You don't need to do that. It's good to just wear. Yeah, I mean, that, that's my, my issue with foundation. It's like you put it's it on much. and you have to rub it all over your face and you don't need it all over your face. Yeah, you don't need it. You just need to just do the little areas. Right. Okay, so next I take Day Glow. So this is our highlighter. Okay, I, I don't know anything about highlighter, so tell me. I remember okay. my mom used to tell me under the eyebrows, right? Yep, under the eyebrows. Basically, you want to apply it anywhere where the light will naturally hit your face. So any sort right. of bones, cheekbone, brow bone, people put See? right here in their cupid's bow, Ooh. Um, little on your chin, but... I'm wearing um, Day Glow in Bounce, which is kind of a rose gold color, but they're designed oh. to be really dewy and translucent. My, you know, I We're love the look. Different. That looks beautiful. I love the look of, you know, glowy, dewy skin, but every time I, I would buy a highlighter, I would get something with glitter or iridescence or like a blue lavender hue. Oh and I need God. to... I've never used highlighter. I mean, besides when... I've definitely never done it on my own. Well, that looks gorgeous. Oh, I'm into myself. And I swear this product has done wonders for my skin. So it's super hydrating and emollient. And for whatever reason, this part of my skin has just become so good. People are asking me if I got lasers done, like what am I doing? And honestly, I just, I've been using this every day for, you know, almost two years now. And you know, I think the ingredients just are conditioning me and, and this, making me look healthy. It all feels very moisturizing. Like, I still don't feel like I've got a ton of crap on my face. Yeah, you're not going to dry out. No. Not but yeah, out. I mean, to your mom's point, we can put a little Under up here. Thank you, Brendels. Thanks, Brendels. Hope you're tuning in. Okay. Okay. Now... Um, for the blush. So this is Flush Bomb. I'm wearing Raspberry Beret, which I'm obviously wearing... you know why, you know, why wouldn't you where give that name came that? from. Because that's our thing, Catherine. Why wouldn't you give me Raspberry Beret too? Well, what did you get? Cheeky. Okay, well, Cheeky is a great universal color. Um, raspberry Beret for me, I have kind of cool undertones, cool or natural. This okay. is the one that gives me the most natural looking color. And it actually looks a little purple when you look at it. But okay. when you apply it, it's the most beautiful natural flush. Um, Cheeky is one of our top sellers, though. It's a beautiful color. This is, um, it goes on like a cream. But when you rub it in, it turns to a stain. So again, soaks right into your natural skin texture. Very natural moisturizing. Delicious. So it looks like skin. Delicious. You can either put it on your fingers or apply it directly to your face. Oh my God, I look alive. Erin Foster has been putting this on her eyelids, which I think looks so pretty. Should I do that? Yeah. Okay. Just on the lids? Just on the lids. Um, this comes in five different colors, so there's also a really pretty kind of tan called terracotta that also looks yeah. great. Um, it's really amazing what just a little 
pinch of a rose cheeky raspberry yeah. spray will do. Just a little polish, you know? Like a little like, oh, hi. Yeah. I'm awake. You look gorge. Oh my God, so do you. So I'm just gonna take the blush number one and I'm oh. just gonna smooth out any harsh Same edges. Brush. Sometimes when I'm doing this in the phone, it's hard to see. Same brush? Yeah, same brush, just universal. Okay, universal. Okay. Do you remember in the in the like late 90s, you were such a trendsetter when it came to beauty? Like I was just reminded, a photo came up on Instagram this week of you and you used to keep, you know, your skin pretty natural looking, but then you would always do something really interesting with your eye. So you would draw on the liner and you would do like a design here. Or oh you would my draw God. The little stars. Because okay. when you said late 90s, I was like, I was like, well, I graduated high, high school in 99. So like when, what area, what era is she talking about? But maybe early yes. 2000s, like late 90s, early 2000s. It was, it was like, it was like early 2000s. And I would, I mean, I've always loved Twiggy. And so I would draw, yes, the eyelashes. Yes. But it like, you really <laughs> pulled it off. You are really good at makeup. And oh my God, really, I actually, I was going to say, you know, Makeup is not really my, I like wearing it and I like looking gorgeous because of it, but I don't know how to do it. Like I'm, I can kill at hair, hair yeah. inside out, like not a big deal. But if I, if I am wearing makeup, like I got it done. I don't, I don't know how, I, I know how to do. Yeah, but you know your eyes really well. I know my eyes. I know how to do a cat eye. That's my like go to yeah. if I need to like do something, then like totally. do a cat eye. Um, but I do feel like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I, sometimes I look at photos of myself in my twenties and I just have so much makeup on. I was yeah. like, oh my God. I'm like, who is that? You know? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. I just, I think, I think it's so funny. Like, I don't know at this stage in my life, like I just want to, I just want to feel like myself. That's why I like merit, you know? Yes. I'm not trying to take off my makeup and like shock anyone at the end of the day. Right. So I want to be able to like, it's pretty consistent. Like, yeah. Yeah. If someone's like, do you want to sleep over? I'm like, okay. And then I go wash my face. <laughs> so, like, you and the same person, like, I don't want to go for a surprise sleepover and everyone's like, whoa, you know? Yes. No, I love your natural look. I also love your natural curls that you've embraced over the last Ooh. few years. Yeah. Should we move on to brow? Let's move on to brows. So brow, this is brow 1980. And, you know, where I was be born. Yes. So this is, you know, because I came of age in the 90s, as did you. Yes. I plucked the Are hell you out of 80? my eyebrows. I'm 81. Are you 80? Yes, 80. Okay. So because of that, I plucked my brows, you know, mm -hmm. in the 90s, thanks yes. to people like Drew Barrymore. Yes. And, you know, they never grew back. I've tried absolutely everything. So when I went to create a brow product, you know, I wanted something that would actually build my brows and create more fullness. Mm -hmm. But also I have these little tiny baby hairs that are, you know, blonde. Right. And I wanted something that would tint every single little baby hair I have to, you know, give me credit That's for all fuller brows. Put together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this product has little microfibers in. So you, it actually fills in areas of your brow with the tinted microfibers. And the consistency of the pomade just grabs every little baby hair that you have, but without leaving, you know, a bunch of color all over your eyelid, because that's also annoying. Yeah, it doesn't look like tattooed eyebrows. It's just like a little. Um, can I share my eyebrow story with yeah. you? Yeah, I'm just doing a little back comb and then I comb up. Go ahead, tell me. Oh yeah, that's that's what I do. It's basically like you're drawing them in with a brush. Right. Um, okay, let me share my eyebrow journey with you. Please do. <sighs> when I was 12, I really wanted to, I started getting um, hair right here. And I really yeah. just wanted to wax my eyebrows. And my mom said no. And I was mortified and all my friends were doing it and I wasn't allowed to. So I went in the shower and I took a razor and I shaved <laughs> what I thought was the middle. 
I didn't take a mirror. I don't know why I can't speak for my logic at that age, but I didn't take a mirror and I came out of the shower and my eyebrows were missing oh from here God. to here. I had of my eyes on me and she, she got so mad. Oh my God. She goes, what the hell happened to your eyebrows? And I was like, I just like wasn't that good at lying yet. And I was like, I was like, oh my God, mom, I was in the shower and they just fell off. I was like, I don't know what happened. They just, they just fell off in the shower. And she was like, yeah, like I asked her, she said, no, I came out of the shower, like with no eyebrows. And she was like, what happened? And I was like, oh my God, it was so crazy. They magically fell off. Anyway, all my friends thir turned 13. And so every bat mitzvah and bar mitzvah photo that I have of me at my parties, I have no eyebrows. I have eyebrows from here to here. And they never really grew back, back, back right. Like it, they always, like they always had, but then I went to Umberto, which was, I feel like you did too, right? It's a very important place. If you grew up in LA on Canon, I fell down the stairs there once. That's a different story in front of everyone. You know, it's like at the front door. Anyway, um, but I went to Liz, which is like also a real, um, and I waxed my eyebrows every week. Isn't that nuts? But I haven't waxed my eyebrows in like, I don't know, I like maybe do it once a year. Okay, but I feel like, like, when I was that age, I was like, I have to wax my eyebrows every week. Do you think that was necessary? No. Oh, oh, it's a, they, yeah, they're saying you're muted, but I can hear you. So Catherine's saying that it's your guys' problem. I can hear her. She said, Lady. 